There are roughly 189,500 Holocaust survivors alive in Israel today. And though they average about 84 years old, 32,000 of them are over the age of 90, and 800 are over 100 years old. So communications technology is not as accessible to them as it may be to us. And that can be especially difficult on a day like Holocaust Remembrance Day amidst the coronavirus crisis. We're well, here to discuss is Israeli psychologist Dr. Camila Folkash Levan. Doctor, again, thank you, of course, for being with us. Now, what are the dangers associated with, uh, you know, especially to health, associated with loneliness and isolation? It's a very important question because when we're in an isolation, especially for older people, uh, physical movement is very important. It's important for all of us, but especially for older people, uh, because sometimes it's difficult, more difficult to move. Yes. So, and it's also very easy to kind of lose track of time. And this is also something uh, important to consider for caregivers, especially for caregivers that are family members that maybe before that had a uh, live-in or somebody else that took care of their loved ones. Yes. So it's very important if you can, if you need to put an alarm clock to make sure that the medicine is being taken, that you eat, pay extra attention to food that you do eat. There are, if you don't have food, so then there are many organizations that can also bring you, even if you don't have family members or close um, or loved ones that can bring it for you. Uh, make sure that you're stacked up and all, including on your medicine. Make sure to move. Put on music, put on music and dance around if it's difficult for you to stand. So even if you hold the back of the chair, but do move throughout the day at least several times because the deterioration of the muscle tone is much stronger in uh, older people. So it's something that's very, very important to consider. Now, I know that there are a lot of organizations that are, are working to help the elderly in Israel, but what, what can the rest of us maybe do to help, especially Holocaust survivors on a day like today? Mm -hmm. I think it's very important if you have loved ones that you know or friends or family members or even a neighbor, if you're, even if you're not that in touch with them, do reach out, call, maybe knock on the door, of course, uh, abiding by the safety rules, see if they need anything. And it's not just on this day, but this day is or this time is especially difficult for them because many of them lost their families, their children, and the memories are swerving in the mind and, and it's really a sad time for many, yes? So an extra sad time, but do be, aw be aware of them, um, of Holocaust survivors, and not only, but especially also uh, during this time, knock on their door or call, see maybe they need something. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe video they need chat a as well. Of milk maybe video chat as well for for those who are capable yes and you can also set up maybe uh, specific times that you can connect because uh, sometimes you know we get involved with our own things and we, f we just forget and the day just went right by but uh, it would be very nice if you can chat with them if children can chat with them even if you just put the phone somewhere on on, on a table or something like that and they can just watch what's going on in your house and kind of be a part as though they're sitting inside the house with you um, it's very important that social connection that someone cares that someone's there uh, make sure also for the people that for elderly yes make sure that you don't get caught up in TV do watch but but uh, be conscious of the fact to get up and maybe read something maybe read something do something else stay stay by the window all breathe right. some air all right well Camila you've given us a lot to think about thank you so much for joining us thank you